Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve a multi-step equation that involves using the distributive property, combining like terms, and we will have variables on both sides. Let's jump into our example where we have x plus 5 and then in parentheses 3x minus 4 end parentheses equals 12x plus 4. So looking at this equation, let's work through this step by step. We will start by using the distributive property, then we will combine like terms, and then since we have variables on both sides, we will get the variable to one side. Then we will look to solve. We will look to isolate the variable. Now those steps are at the top of the screen, and I have question marks by them because not all equations are the same. So we can ask ourselves these steps as we look to solve equations. Can I distribute anything using the distributive property? Can I combine like terms? Are there variables on both sides? And then lastly, we need to solve, which doesn't have a question mark because it doesn't matter what type of equation we have, we will look to solve. We will look to isolate the variable. Now let's start with the first thing that we're going to do, and that is to look for an opportunity to use the distributive property to remove any parentheses. So do we have any parentheses that we can remove? Yes, we can use the distributive property to remove the parentheses around 3x minus 4. We need to distribute 5, and that's a positive 5, to 3x and negative 4. So if we distribute 5 to 3x, we have 5 times 3x. That gives us 15x. And then distributing 5 to negative 4, so 5 times negative 4, that gives us negative 20. So minus 20. And then we can bring down the rest of the equation. So x plus 15x minus 20 equals... 12x plus 4. Now that we removed the parentheses, we can look for any like terms that we can combine. Are there any like terms? Yes, we have x and 15x. We can combine those like terms on the left side of the equation. So combining x and 15x, we can think of this as x plus 15x. That gives us 16 x and then bring down the rest of the equation so minus 20 equals 12x plus 4. So we used the distributive property we combined like terms and now since we have variables on both sides we need to get the variable to one side of the equation. Now either side will work but my suggestion, look to avoid negatives as far as the variable goes, and we can do that by getting rid of the one with the coefficient that is smaller in value. So the number in front of the variable that is smaller in value. That's going to be 12x. So let's get rid of 12x from the right side of the equation. Now that's a positive 12x, so the inverse operation is going to be subtraction. So let's subtract. 12x from the right side of the equation. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So subtract 12x from the left side as well. Now on the right side of the equation, these 12x's cancel each other out. So we are left with 4, and that's a positive 4, equals. And then on the left, we can do 16x minus 12x. So subtract those like terms. That gives us. 4x, bring down the rest of the equation. So now we have 4x minus 20 equals 4. Now that we have the variable on one side of the equation, we can look to solve. We can look to isolate the variable. We're going to use inverse operations in order to do so. And we're going to go in the reverse order of operations. So we need to undo the subtraction First, what's the inverse operation of subtraction? Well, addition. So let's add 20 to the left side of the equation. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. 
So add 20 to the right side as well. Now on the left side, we are subtracting 20 and adding 20. So these 20s cancel each other out. We now have 4x equals, and then on the right side, we have 4 plus 20. That gives us 24. So now we have 4x equals 24. 4 times x equals 24. So we need to undo that multiplication. What's the inverse operation of multiplication? Well, division. So let's divide the left side by 4. That means we need to divide the right side by 4 as well. Now on the left side, we are multiplying by 4 and dividing by 4. So these 4s cancel each other out. X is now isolated. And then on the right side, we have 24 divided by 4. That gives us 6. So X equals 6. That's our solution. Now we can check that by plugging it in for X and seeing if this works. So let's do that off to the side. So let's plug in 6 for X here. Now we need to work through both sides of the equation and see if they are equal. If they are, then we have the correct solution. Let's start with the left side of the equation and we will start in the parentheses. We have three times six minus four. Three times six is 18 minus four gives us 14. And then we can bring down the rest of the equation. And now we have 6 plus 5 times 14. So we need to do multiplication next. 5 times 14 gives us 70. And then we end with 6 plus 70. That gives us 76. Now let's do the right side and see if we get 76. So we have 12 times 6 plus 4. Let's start with the multiplication. So 12 times 6 is 72. And then we have 72 plus 4, which is 76. Both sides equal 76. So we are correct. X equals 6. So there you have it. There's how to solve a multi-step equation that involves the distributive property, combining like terms, and variables on both sides. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.